Welcome back to your favorite spoken English channel, Vision Spoken English. Uh, this series was about 100 tips which can help you to communicate very well. It's not just about English or it's not just about fluency. It's about gaining a skill, uh, skill that will help you in your long term. So, never ever feel that it's in Spoken English channel. Uh, see it as a way of improving your communication skill, having some soft skills which can help you to enhance your resume not just this but actually help you in practical life mm, I'll continue from the place where I left uh, the next step that I've included is that you should be reading newspapers and, uh, and, 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 and uh, articles or novels as much as possible uh, you should be including novels which ac actually interests you which uh, which makes you feel that you're okay with this topic and uh, uh, you're not you're not you're not gonna sleep while reading it you're not gonna uh, you know you're gonna have proper imagination while reading that newspaper uh, I mean uh, novel or, or article oh. rather than just sleeping on while reading that novel I would prefer you uh, to read articles which actually interests you which actually which uh, which really uh, you know fantasize you Rather than just going through any novel and uh, having a good nap, I would prefer you to choose a very specific top topic which uh, which excites you, which which makes you feel that you're okay with it. You can have proper imagination while reading that. Uh, you should be very, very precise and cautious about choosing the topic of that uh, article or that uh, that novel or something like that. Next one is you should be using this language in your daily life. Uh, as much as possible what actually happens is that uh, practice makes a man perfect not just man but women also uh, for being perfect in uh, this language or at least in communication skill you should be preferring to use this language as much as you, in your daily life uh, now you're gonna be like uh, would it be possible for me to communicate uh, we all know that uh, certain areas where this uh, language is not actually taken seriously so in this circumstance you should be preferring to have friends which ha who have the same goal as you have who, 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 who share your long-term goal who helps you in this uh, now other than this uh, I would prefer you to join uh, applications like uh, Duolingo or something like that which can uh, you know familiar you, you, by which you can actually familiar yourself in this language next one is you should be keeping a journal uh, you should uh, noting down what you have learned uh, what's your skill uh, I mean uh, till now what, 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 what have you gained you should uh, prefer noting it down uh, now so having a journal is not just about your accomplishments or, or about your gains but rather than noting those you should also note down what you did uh, in your daily life uh, what 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 interested you today what made you excited today what was day about what specifically uh, did you do in the in whole day The next one is uh, you should read journals. So there were five five tips that I told you here. So so that was uh, five to six top top tips that. Uh, so there was five to six topics that I included in this. The, these tips will actually help you if you see it. Uh, as a practicality and you actually use this in your life uh, three more uh, tips which as a bonus I would uh, prefer to tell you is that you should be engaging yourself in language exchange uh, you should come and realize this situation where uh, people exchange their thoughts in this language now you gotta be like there's no one uh, there shouldn't be anyone and it's really hard for you but what I'm, I'll, I'll suggest to you that you should be joining a coaching center or English speaking institutes which will make you engage in group discussions, debates, uh, and topic discussions. Uh, when, when you will see people speaking in front of you, you will gain practical view of how is it done uh, and 
what what gestures what expressions what, what are the words on which people make pressure on which uh, which which people ignore which people use the most you'll actually see in real you should be joining a, an institution for this next one is you should uh, immerse yourself in english what i mean by saying this is that you should attend conferences you should be attending ted talks or, or joe's talks uh, which which contains real english which contains real english uh, rather than you know just uh, babbling about themselves or something like that next one is you should use technology for your advantages now google assistant siri uh, chat gtp uh, there are tons of application which can help you to communicate and there's their pronunciation their 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 sentence making structure their uh, their accent uh, it's everywhere and you should be utilizing it uh, for your own um, your, your your advantages that's it for today wish you a good day now in the next one i'll include more points Till then, wish you a good day.